What I'm going to do now is just test some alternative versions of this. First of all, I'm going to test what would happen if I locked in my profits based on a 10 minute interval. And the reason for that is that it gives the trend longer to establish itself before we close out the position. So I'm going to test closing out the position on a 10 minute candle. So if the price rises above the upper Bollinger Band, this time on a 10 minute basis, not a five minute basis. Okay, pause. The price drops below, I want to test it on a 10 minute basis. I just test them first before adjusting my stops, see how well it works. Oh, that's very good. So the total profit is 3,350. So effectively what I've done by increasing the interval, it gives the trend longer to establish so you get more benefit from a swing. And by using the shorter interval, effectively my stops, they get you out quicker so you limit your losses and you maximize your return. So cut losses quickly, let your returns run or your profitable trades run. If I use a 10 minute on my stops, would that improve things? The price of the Aussie dollar rises above the upper Bollinger Band on a 10 minute basis. And it drops below. Okay, let's retest. Okay, so that wasn't as good. So I will go back to using a five minute interval for my stops to protect my profits. Let's tweak these. Lastly, I'm just going to compare the performance of using RSI versus Stochastic. So I have a 14 period RSI and a 14 period Stochastic. If you compare the two, you can see here, for example, the stochastic was overbought, yet the RSI had just moved across 50%, and it wouldn't have given a signal until much later. So I would just test the performance of going with the RSI. That's a bit slower to give me my entry. So when it's above 60 or below 40. So rather than dropping below 20, we would like the RSI to fall below 40, show weakness.
and now I will add RSI above 60. Let's back test this. So if we look at the performance, it was 3060. However, when we used Castic, we got a better performance of 3350, which was quite close to the performance of the static trade where the stop and the limit was fixed. So what I'm going to do now is change back to using Stochastic for this example, and I will put this set of automated trades into production, so I will activate them. So one last change, change it back to being over sold below 20. And now a quick back test to make sure I've set up my trades correctly. Okay, it looks good. Firstly, I'm going to pause these rules I that I set up at the weekend. Now I'm going to activate the ones we've just tested. So now we sit back and see what happens. One of the reasons that I favor this approach as in using Bollinger Bands for my stops and my limits is that an approach based on fixed stops and limits is not very adaptive to the ever-changing market conditions. So it's been tested and works quite well with the market conditions that have gone before over the last week. However, the market, the profile of the price movement is always consistently changing. And if you are managing a strategy based on determining your range of your trade using fixed limits and stops, then you have to keep tweaking it as the profile of the price movement changes.